Hey, how you doing? Fire Flames right here. Um, I have my 1964 Super Sport Chevy Impala, and when I bought it, uh, headlights didn't work, flashers, uh, uh, signal lights. Um, only thing that worked was my um, running lights. Those are what worked. Uh, so I had an issue. I can't get the brake lights to work. Going through the system, uh, a lot of wires are old and frayed. Next year, this is gonna be a 60 year old car. So um, I went through a lot of the wires, they're frayed. Uh, the fuse box is, is not too great. And when you're dealing with old cars, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So after watching this video, you're going to have 100% brake lights if you just follow what I'm doing. Um, real simple and to the point. So uh, I looked all over the place and I could not find anything to get my brake lights working. I had to go through schematics and read through different pages of how you know diagrams work and it was just a lot of research just to get brake lights working and then I went and called uh, an automotive place to get a quote of what it's going to cost to get brake lights working. They said a two hour minimum is going to be about 600 bucks and that's not even guaranteed to make them work or whatnot. So I'm not a professional. I just went and did research to get this going because I want to drive my car. So I got headlights working, I got brake lights working, and I have my running lights. I do not have my hazards and signals, but I'm building a whole new harness just for my brake lights. And with brake lights, you could bypass your, your fuse box because you don't need a relay for your brake lights. But down the road, another video I'll show you um, how to run a relay, a four prong relay uh, into your brake lights to your signals uh, switch so that you can be able to have your brake lights and you can have uh, your, your signals, uh, your indicators to be able to work through that relay and bypassing the fuse box. Um, everything else is working. So if everything else is working, I really don't wanna go in there and touch touch old frayed wires and think this car is going to be 60 years old next year. So if everything's working, I suggest just my personal opinion, leave it alone and fix what the problem is. And so I did that and my car is fine. Um, so let's get into it. After you watch this video, like I said, you're going to have hundred percent brake lights. I looked all over the place. I could not find something simple. Too many people are going in and out of different things and I'm going to make it real simple. Uh, for people that maybe aren't that educated on wiring or people that just want to get their car on the road and be legal. All right, so check it out. I'm going to show you step by step. I'm going to go from the front, mid to the back. All right, so here's some of the things you're going to need um, to get this completed. Um, simple stuff here, and I'll go over some more of the things as I go uh, through the car. Um, but some, some of these things you're going to need, and uh, I'll All show right, you right so now. So I built a harness right here. This harness right here I built, and it's a 10 amp fuse. On the diagram for the 64 Impala, um, they run a 10 amp fuse uh, for the, uh, for the um, brake lights. So I just went ahead and did this here, and I ran this wire. Oh, I'm using a 16 gauge automotive wire. Either 16 or 18 will work, but I'm using 16 gauge automotive wire. So I go from here to the positive, all the way around through the dash underneath okay now when we come inside here underneath your dash i threw it away i wish i i, I still had it but i mean you could look it up it's a brake switch um your brake switch has two prongs on it okay um i was thinking that one is a positive one is a negative you know and, and that's not the case all it is is it just splits the uh the current so where when it's closed or open it, it, it doesn't um follow the current all the way through and that's what creates your brake lights to go on and off okay so all it is is just a a uh power line going all the way back to your lights so w there's two ends on it you, that wire that i just ran from the battery with the with the 10 amp fuse runs all the way around through the dash underneath bypassing the fuse box now i have one end hooked to the brake switch 
and then the other end of the brake switch remember there's only two two ends one end it goes in and the other end is coming out i'm running that end all the way here through the back it's coming through the back and it pops out right here i have this hanging out so you guys can see what i'm doing i'll button it up shorten these wires up and then i'll go ahead and uh set this up to where it's all tucked but i have a uh one into uh four that i got on amazon i wanted it to be nice and clean so i got a one into four so remember here you have from the battery a 10 amp fuse harness that i, I built very simple runs all the way under the dash. From the dash underneath the dash, there's the, the brake switch. That line goes straight to the brake switch, and then the other line out of the brake switch, I'm running that all the way through here, which I just showed you, through here, into here. Okay, simple, one line right here. Now, these four lines right here, I'm running to each brake light, okay? So, very simple. Come in here, grab your tester, have your running lights on. There's only two wires, okay? There's only two wires. There's, there's uh, uh, the one for your running lights and the one for your brake lights and signals, okay? So you come in here and test. Running light, light will go on. The brake light, the light won't go on. So right there, you'll know which one that you need to cut, cap, and the one that you need to build a new harness for. That's what I did to all these right here. Find out which wire you need to cut, which one is your brake light, and build a new one. So, um, remember, these are uh, 1157 bulbs right here, two filament bulbs, okay? These are two filament bulbs. What I didn't know was, Going into it, I was looking for three lines coming out of this. This is the original one. I was looking for three lines to come out of this. And uh, one was going to be uh, running lights, and the other one was going to be the brake lights. Um, so I was like, where is the ground wire? I was thinking there's going to be three. So it turns out the housing inside here, uh, the copper, this copper housing inside here, um, it's uh that's that axis is, is uh as the uh ground so um you don't need to but i had a problem i got all my lights working right everything was working i, I my running lights were on i'll step on the brake and um this right light right over here passenger side light when i would step on the brake the running light would go off when I would release it, it would go back on, but there was no brake light. So if you have to, I couldn't figure it out, but it was just a bad ground. Uh, the housing wasn't grounding it. So this is a little sample of what I did. All I did was I made a jumper, put it right here on the side, chip, I went ahead and filed this down so this bends over. And then I went and bolt, grinded it down to the metal and I bolted it here to the chassis. And now it works perfectly fine. So you can see here, right here to the corner is, I went ahead and filed it down so that it bends over so I could go ahead and pop that in and it'll stay snug. And then I went up over here and I went and attached the ground. Okay, here's my running lights. They work perfectly. Like I said, my brake lights didn't work. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the reflection when I step on the brake, what it looks like. So you can tell, here we go, all four on. One, two, three, four. Look at that. I got brake lights now. After watching this video and you run the brake lights the way I showed you, you will have 100% brake lights, okay? Remember, um, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll know whenever I have videos, uh, new videos that come up, you'll be able to uh, check them out. 
headlights work, everything's ready to roll. I got it all street legal, ready to rock and roll. More videos to come. Again, like I said, don't touch it if it ain't broke. Um, once you start dealing with the old car, a lot more problems start happening. You know, uh, these wires are get real old and they get frayed. So um, I'm gonna do American Auto Wire later down the line, uh, maybe the next year or two, and I'll just rip out everything and put everything in there new. But as far as bypassing everything and just having 100% brake lights, this is the way to go. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it and you'll be able to get your cars on the road uh, legally with brake lights. Take care.